Hi guys, welcome to this um, ISO well setup and it was created with the ISO of Arclinx D. Now Arclinx D is not the easy way, it's certainly not for the beginner. Sometimes we do give that advice, don't do, right? Don't start a university course and start with phase six, seven, six, right? Start by taking small steps, we call it baby steps. Gradually learn about Arclinx, Archlinx, start with Arclinx Excel and move down to the phases because it's just one phase before the Arch Linux, the Arch way where you need to figure it all out. So in this concept of Arclinx D, you also have need to figure out already something out, but you do have Calamars. As a graphical installer in phase seven, you don't. It's really all commands. Just wanted to show you that anything of these, uh, I've been playing around with some settings. You see the bar up here, some extra stuff here, a clock there, right? And here we have the Windows 11. Yeah, <laughs> the Windows 11 menu. It's available. It's on the, well, it's here, right? There is so much to be said about our Plasma. You can get new global themes, you can get application titles, you can get plasma styles, colors. There's so much you can just keep on adding more and more window decorations, get new window decoration. Go for it, right? Scroll, 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 and it keeps scrolling. And that's what I basically did. I did have a look at the widgets, clicked on the get new widgets, download, no, yeah, download, true. <laughs> and then, I don't know, I think I type menu or something. And I went over all the menus that it provides. And uh, they've installed this one as well, OS X Launchpad. But there's so much more. Again, scroll, scroll, this is the end, right? So there is so much uh, to be tested. And that's the fun in Plasma. Just wanted to have a, a quick uh, show how easy it is to, to change things around and decide to have a totally different look and it's entirely up to you. The thing is, Arclinx D is, is difficult, right? It's, it has not, well, the way I installed it, take a look, the way I installed it, does not contain a lot of stuff. It creates, it, it has the Alacrity configuration, so transparency, we, we find it important, that's that. And system configuration, that's for the system, right? You need that. The welcome app, do you need the welcome app, mm, right? Grub theme mimics when you're greeted with a blue, uh, well, well, streak, or do you call it uh, a blue sign there when we boot up? Keyring, yeah, that's important. Local accessory for, no, it's just saying that you should use Alacrity as a terminal. Mirror list, if you want to install our packages, yes, why? And so the keys and the mirror list go together. NeoFetch is just the look, the way we want to show you this. Well, up there it is already, eh? NeoFetch. Paru is um, reverse um, ordering, otherwise you get the, the things at the bottom. I don't know, voila. So the one we want to see is the one from Repo X Large, right? And then Spotify and then move up, not the way around. SDM is for well, having a theme. The system D services for Pac-Man in its service. The wallpapers, pff, you don't need them. And XFC, pff, you don't need them, right? Because this is uh, Plasma. But I have installed some of the things so that I have my Thunar available. There you are, Thunar. Yep, it's installed. So there you go. It's a choice. I can always say all these Linux distributions, it's just a choice to choose that kernel and choose that desktop and choose that application. And it is entirely up to you. And that's the fun and also the challenge, right? There is There are so many packages on Arch Linux. There are two things, archlinux.org. I read the news from time to time. Okay, and um, these are the packages from Arch Linux. You will recognize the repos. And here are the packages from AOR. And AOR is not Arch, and they say so. AOR packages are user produced content. Any use of the provided files is zero risk, right? But this is where the fun is. Here we have so many packages. And what I would do, let me give you a pointer 
an idea of what I've done years ago and we should do it probably regularly maybe at least once a year that's just for yourself right not for me but anybody on arch click on the votes and see what people vote up what they think is a great tool or a great application and you go down and you take at least 10 pages look at this 1568 pages right so it is 87,390 let's say and 80,000 packages that we have on AWAR that we can install so yes no we're not gonna install 80,000 packages and put it on a repo so the main things the most important packages are either by votes or by popularity and you order it so this is from low to high let's go from high to low popularity paru yay spotify visual studio code bin and so on you'll see the major applications that we have on our uh, repo are probably in here right so well um, may it inspire you may not be yet something for you so think about this maybe too soon right we're not there to help you hold your hand and there is there are the, the the websites that's where we hold your hand take a look at all the information that's here and youtube is our means of hosting the videos but they're basically in here and you search for it with the search the listing is also very handy so if you go to the listing now like for instance at clicks d it's an easy way to see okay these are all desktops so it doesn't matter what desktop this article is on uh, changing the logo of neofetch is for everybody not just for and so on so here it gives some structure and idea these are all articles about awesome bspwm so some of them have been explained really thoroughly others are just a taste so you go and have a look and get more knowledge that's the point right get knowledge via articles and videos and study yourself all right cheers